guys welcome back now in, in the previous tutorial we saw how to uh, sign up a user into our backend in parse.com so in this one let's uh, let me introduce you to something called intent so we're going to see uh, how to take the user direct to the home page after the user signs up so we're going to be using intent uh, so intent uh, I have an image of an intent here so intent is pretty much uh, uh, there are synchronous messages which allow uh, Android applications to request functionalities from other Android components. So, if you have, like, for example, you want uh, you want to start another activity, you want to send a message, or you want to request to use a camera, you can simply use Intent. Uh, and by invoking Intent, you're simply, uh, for example, for, uh, to use a camera, you're simply uh, calling the camera application and requesting. Uh, permission to use the camera. So that is uh, via intent. So there are two types of intent. There's explicit intent. I've laid out uh, the intents for you here in a slide. So uh, this is how the intents are written pretty much. So you have uh, a new uh, a new uh, you, you have the contents here from that is this uh, uh, the this context take two parameters the context and the class or the activity that you're trying to go to and then there's explicit intent which uh, you can use to pass data uh, to another uh, activity so for example this one is passing uh, some values to activity two from the current activity which is in the current context and then there's implicit intents which request permission to use uh, other in other other components in other application. Like for example, this one is use, is, is requesting the permission to use the the, the web app to view the web uh, to, to visit now vogela.com. I just copied this from vogela.com, so I thought I'd give it back to them. And Vogela has a really good explanation about this if you want. So in this one, we'll just jump straight into Android Studio where we were and try to use intent that we say when the user signs up immediately and on a successful sign up here at Parse, we want to take the user to the home page. So we're going to say intent. And in this one, we're just going to use the simplest intent. So say intent, or I can say tick user home equals to intent. Oh, sorry, it got new intent, and then the context is this, and the activity I want to take him to is homepage dot class. So as you can see, I have an an error here because uh, the context this is is the, the this one is now inside of in a, in a method uh, done. So we have to call the main context by saying register activity dot this. And then after that, now let's start activity, call start activity, and then take user home. And that should do it. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, let's try to sign up another user. And we're gonna say this time, Kibet. And then sign up. And this time we're taken to the home page, say success, hello world. So having done that, now let's head back to the manifest. Uh, okay, let's just leave it like that for the moment. Okay, uh, now let's go ahead and create a login activity where the user can be able to uh, log in. Uh, and we should make that as the place where the user should be able to see first, they should be able to see the login page before seeing the register. Uh, they should be able to sign up uh, via the login page. Uh, they should be able to click the sign up link uh, or, or, or a text view and they'll be taken to uh, the register page. So let's go ahead and create uh, a new activity. And it's going to be here, blank activity. And I'm going to call this login activity. And I'm going to finish it. All right, and in the login activity, I'm going to extend just activity. And then I'll head 
I always had to the generated XML file, uh, our design. And in this one, you first see that we have kind of resolve a title login. I wonder why. All right, let me just try to solve this problem, the error. I believe it's something to do with uh, my string values. And then, or my manifest. I have label, yeah, this label. I should maybe just write login. I'll change that in, uh, in the strings file later. But for now, just to make it work, I'll just uh, um, let me clean the project. And then let's try to check out. Uh, yeah, the app's gone now. So Android Studio takes a while to kind of build up the project as well. So that's one thing to. And now in this one, I'll try to use a linear layout. So, and I'll get rid of the orient or the padding. Well, I'll just leave it. And then in order for linear layouts to work, you got to always give it an orientation of either horizontal or vertical. And this one will use vertical. And then we'll get rid of the text view. And now inside a list, uh, inside, inside uh, an edit text. This one I'll use coding view to make. And then I'll match the parent and the height, I'll wrap the content. And the text is, I mean, the hint is username. And the ID is ID. I'll give it an ID of username, login, text box. And then I should do it for that. And I'll copy this. And since this is a linear layout and it's arranged vertically, it's a linear, so everything will be arranged in uh, vertical order uh, in a linear way for that matter. So username login text box and then this one is going to be password password login text box and this one is going to be password the hint is password and and then the next thing we're going to have is a button and this one will, the width will match parent, and the width will wrap content. And then um, the text is, uh, we're going to have login. And then we'll give it an ID of, uh, uh, Login button. Yeah, that should do it. So, and then I'll add a text here, a little text in the, in the center. I'll say text view, text view, and I'll wrap the content. I'll wrap the content as well for the height. And the text here is or and and then we want to say gravity center horizontal is that right yes and actually to center that horizontal i have to make the width as much parent so that it works. Yes, there you have it. And then or, and then I create another button. And I would say this one, I'd give it an ID of create 
account login create account button at login you know so I could remember and then I give it a text of uh, create account and that should do it okay so now uh, of course this is, is going to work fine if I run it uh, let me try to interact with it first or for this case let me just uh, I always try to run it as well but for the sake of time I was thinking of uh, just jumping but let me just go ahead and do it real quick so I just go to the manifest and just kind of change the launcher button to the uh, login so that we kind of see how it looks so I'm just running it it's, uh, compiling Okay, it's taking a while there. Oh, and there we have our login page the way it looks. So, pretty decent. Uh, so, let's give it some functionality to be able to operate and so that we can start now working on the home page.